Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and we're back with another tutorial. It's gonna be a short and sweet tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to create a fixed mobile menu and header on your Divi website. Now, you've probably noticed that by default, Divi has a fixed header on desktop. And by fixed, it means that the, the header, the, the navigation menu sticks to the top as you scroll. Now this is a, a great web 2.0 user experience feature that most modern websites have. It allows a user to have easy access to the additional navigation options without having to scroll all the way to the top. Uh, so it's great. However, uh, for Divi, there is not a built-in way to have that same fixed header on tablet and mobile devices. And so um, there's no control on the back end. You can't turn anything on and off. It's just not there. The only way to do it is to add some CSS. And so that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, now, you can see a demo of this on the Divi Life website itself. So on the blog post here, I have uh, divilife.com. I framed in here so you could see an example of what that looks like. Um, if you're viewing the blog post on a mobile device, then you won't see this iframe because you can just look at the the website itself that you're on reading the blog post. Um, so this is what we're going to be creating, a fixed header. Now there's two parts to this and I'm going to show you why in a second, but let's go ahead and dive right in. So there's really just two uh, bits of CSS that we're going to add. There's uh, two parts here and disregard what you're seeing in this video now. I need to go back and fix that. Um, it's mislabeled from a previous blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I have my tutorial website opened up here, my other browser. So I'm going to go to theme options. If you've never added custom CSS to your website before, it's very easy. You can either do it in your child theme style.css file or if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it right now. Just head over to Divi theme options and on the, the, the first tab, the default tab general, um, you're going to see this custom CSS box. I always like to drag that so I can see it and scroll down to the bottom. And I'm just going to paste that in, paste exactly what I copied from the blog post. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now this is the, a page that I have open for that site. Or actually, I'm going to, I'm sorry, one second. I'm going to go back and do this. I'm going to show you the before so you can see the after. So you can see this is without the custom CSS added. The page just scrolls and you don't have access to the navigation menu. Now, I'd like to make the case that this is more, having a fixed header on mobile is more beneficial on mobile than it is on desktop. Because on desktop, um, when everything is fully extended, you have columns. You have three, four columns. If you take that same three column layout, it's now down to one column and you have a lot more scrolling to do. So on mobile, there's a lot more scrolling going on. So in my opinion, it makes even more sense to have a fixed header on mobile than it does on desktop because on desktop, you're not doing nearly as much scrolling. Um, but the bottom line is, I think it's a great user experience feature to add this bit of CSS to give the users of your site or your client sites um, the ability to easily access the pages uh, other pages on the website without um, having to scroll all the way back to the top to, to get to that. So um, that's kind of my, my sales pitch on, on why I think this is something that you want to do. So I'm going back here. Sorry to uh, get that all um, going back and forth here. But I'm just going to paste the CSS in the CSS box. Hit save. And I'm going to go back here, refresh this. Scroll it back to mobile here. My trackpad's not working. Okay, so now when you scroll, you see this is fixed to the top of the screen. Now, you're probably noticing right away as you're watching this video that there's this ugly gap right here. That <coughs> is not going to show up on the um, what your users are seeing. We're just seeing that because we're logged in and, and so the, the mobile admin bar doesn't scroll. And so um, it leaves a little gap right there. So keep in mind that's not going to be showing when you're when you're 
looking at the front end of the website. So um, I mentioned that there's a part one and part two of the CSS that we're gonna be adding. And so we've only added that first part and I'm gonna show you why we need a second part. So say for example, you have a large website that has lots of pages, lots of menu options in uh, the mobile menu. Well, if your user is looking at the site on a, a mobile device and they open up that drop down menu and it extends past the height of the screen, they're not going to be able to get to that additional page option, that different uh, additional menu item, because when they go to scroll, it's just going to scroll the page behind it without actually scrolling the menu down. And so we know that there's other items left in there that we simply can't get to. And so that's a problem. That to me is a broken user experience. That's a broken website. Uh, and so you do not want to add just the first part without adding that second part because you're going to have something like this. Um, maybe not if you only have a couple pages on your website, you won't experience that issue, but we have a fix for that. And so um, I'm going to go back to the blog post here. Sorry, my trackpad is wigging out. All right. So second part to the blog post is just to copy this. Again, disregard this label as you're seeing it in the video. I'm gonna have that corrected, hopefully by the time you're watching this, uh, but that's mislabeled from a previous uh, blog post. So I'm gonna copy that, head back to my other browser here. We're gonna add it to the same spot, paste it, hit save, and we're gonna go back here and refresh the page. I'm gonna, okay, so open up the nav menu, make it a little smaller here. So now we know there is additional items there. Now, if we wanna to get to them, now we can simply scroll. And the menu will scroll inside the, um, the, the drop down, the mobile menu drop down there. And so we can get to those additional items. Now, one thing you'll probably notice right, right away is we have one more option that we're not uh, being able to easily get to there. And so I have a little fix for that. So you'll notice in here that we have the max height set to 83. What's that saying is that the max height is 83% of the viewport height. So what you can do is you can fine tune that number to make sure that it's going to let you oops, uh, get to all the additional items here. And so I'm going to go ahead and change that. So instead of 83, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna try 70, just for the heck of it there, and see if that fixes the issue so that we can access everything here. All right, that's pretty good. It's allowing us. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is you have to play with this based on uh, realistic heights to different browsers and so forth. So um, just doing that tweak made it, uh, better uh, or able to see the additional items in a screen that is um, has this height. So you can play around with that and figure out what, what works best there um, for the, the different sizes that you're optimizing for. But all you wanna do is make sure that you're not um, having any users, whether they're on an older uh, version of a phone, like the iPhone 4, for example, has a really small resolution, small screen. So you wanna make sure that they're able to um, see all the different menu options when they're scrolling. So you can play around with that number right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is the entire tutorial uh, for this blog post, short and sweet, uh, but in my opinion, uh, this is a uh, simple yet powerful little CSS snippet that adds, uh, in my opinion, a great deal of user experience to the website on mobile. So if you have any questions or uh, requests for future tutorials, um, feel free to write them in the comments below. Or if you are watching this on YouTube, write them on the comments on YouTube. And I will see you on the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.